The Church of Almighty God has published many pieces of Almighty God's Word. In several large newspapers here in South Korea, they testify the Lord Jesus has returned to flesh and, what's more, has expressed millions of words. It's astonishing. I think all news preaching the Lord has returned is false, personally. We can't believe it. We shouldn't deny the testimonies of the Lord's coming just because of the appearance of the false Christs of the last days. But for us to distinguish the true Christ from all the false ones, we all should know the substance of Christ as a beginning and shall be able to bring the truth to man, bestow life upon man, and show man the way. People who proclaim themselves to be Christ but deceive others by displaying some signs and wonders are nothing but false Christs. Only he who can express truth and do the judgment work of the last days is the incarnate God the appearance of Christ of the last days. Can you please fellowship about how to tell the difference between the work of God incarnate and the work of men used by God? Doesn't the work of men used by God come from the guidance of the Holy Spirit? Isn't all that comes from God also the work of God? How is it possible that God's work could be the same as man's work? The Lord Jesus was crucified for men to forgive them their sins. Can man do his work instead? The work of God himself involves the work of all of mankind, and it also represents the work of the entire era. Man's work is only the duty of men being used and bears no relation to the management work. The work of God incarnate can conquer and purify man deliver man from the influence of Satan, and take mankind into a wonderful destination. The work of the man used by God is to water and shepherd God's chosen people based on Almighty God's work and word, and to lead them into the reality of God's word and onto the right track of believing in God. After your fellowship, we understand the work done by God incarnate is to open an age and to end one also. If people still cannot discern the work of God from the work of man in the end, they will never escape the deception and control of the false Christs and antichrists. That's just worshiping idols. It's blasphemy against God. Such people will be cursed by God. That's right. Almighty God's work of judging and purifying man in the last days is truly the work of God. Almighty God says, Christ of the last days brings life and brings the enduring and everlasting way of truth. This truth is the path through which man shall gain life and the only path by which man shall know God and be approved by God. <laughs>